Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and we're working on Chow Bella. The collection is blooming, and um, this is really a pretty collection. We've had it for a while, but we hadn't done anything with it, so I am going to start today. And um, I decided to work on my cover first, which I often do, just so I don't cut through the paper that I uh, planned for the cover. And I'm going to use this this beautiful clock pattern for the cover. Um, and I decided to do a slight variation uh, in measurements from my regular eight and a half by eight and a half, and I did an eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter. And um, part of the reason I did that is I measured the eight by eight pads, and they are true to eight by eight. So the internal pocket pages I made eight and five eighths by eight and five eighths, so I wouldn't have to trim the eight by eight not necessary. All of this will work if you stick to the original measurements, but I decided to make those adjustments so I wouldn't have to go through and trim uh, an eighth of an inch off or less uh, each one of the um, eight by eight uh, pads. So my pocket pages will be a true finished eight by eight. <clears throat> I'm sorry, eight and one eight by eight and one eight. Eight and one eight by eight and five one eight. To get there, do eight and five eighths by eight and five eighths, score a half inch on the eight and five eighth inch side. There, I said it. And um, then everything will fit perfectly. And then instead of eight and a half by eight and a half, I did eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter. So you're going to change the size of the front cover, the back cover, and then you're going to slightly shorten the spine. Same width, two and a half inches, slightly shorter at eight and a quarter. And that's it. And then because this is eight, eight by eight, I needed a little bit more to get me to my eighth inch border. So I put a mat behind um, this eight by eight pattern. So this is the eight by eight pattern. I'm using eight by eight packs and 12 by 12 packs. This is coming from the eight by eight um, pack. So it's hard to show in here, but I put Wink of Stella around the metal here and then also on um, the three butterflies. So there's just a little bit of a glimmer here, which helps pull in this silver um, cardstock mat that I'm using. This is from, if I'm not mistaken, do I still have it out here? Hold on. I think it's from, we're going to find out. Pass it right here. Here we go, uh, Recollection. So this is from Michaels, and it's their uh, silver background. You get, it's 65 pounds, get 25 sheets. I'm not planning on using this on the inside, just on the outside to help cover that gap. I didn't want um, a quarter inch uh, white frame around this. I think that softens it a little bit. Anyway, so there you are. Those are the slight changes that are made on the inside of this album. I will write down um, the cut for the album. I'm going to use my eight and a half by eight and a half process video, but the slight adjustment to the measurements will be in the description of this project. And hopefully I have not confused everybody watching. It's really an it's a minor change. And if you decide to do, uh, do a true eight and a half by eight and a half, everything else still works. You just have a little bit bigger border on your cover. There we go. Now as a trick, um, when you're working with these glossy sheets, um, it sometimes makes sense to use tape instead of glue because uh, the glue can sometimes leave your fingerprints behind. So that's what I did is I, ta I taped the designer paper to the silver, but then I glued the silver down. This because it can be quite messy. Okay, so there's the cover and then here's our back. And by the way, this is white book binding tape that I used. And this goes this way. Let me double check and turn it upside down. I did not, sorry. I like to use this to help raise it so it's easier for me to get a, a nice good square. I looked at this with both gold and silver and silver was definitely the answer. I think that you could use pewter 
Um, but that's about it. I think uh, silver or a pewter, but not the gold just didn't work. An antique gold might. And I say that because of the color in the roses. I thought the gold would actually work better, but it's not it's not in the right family. So like I said, you might be able to use an antique gold, but uh, check it. I definitely think silver works. Okay, now I'm gonna burnish all this. And I'm gonna do this fine real quick. And we're gonna go back around to the front and I'm gonna add, um, add the flowers. And then later on, I'm gonna do a sneak peek and post this to our Facebook page so you guys know what I'm working on. I've just been so out of, off schedule lately. My releases aren't coming on Fridays like they used to and just all over the place. Life got hectic after things opened up. Okay, and this, so basically, this is from the 12 by 12 and this is from the eight by eight. And this 12 by 12 um, is just a continuous piece that I cut to cover the spine in the back. And if I'm not mistaken, it's the cover. I'm not mistaken, I'm sure of it. The question is, is it the cover? Or I think it's from the patterns. Patterns. Here they are. I saved my little sheets to try to figure out what's what. And so here's the thing. Well, I was talking about this the last time we got together, and I said I forget what comes from what, and I often cut through these strips. And then when I looked at it. I was going to take a picture because one of you guys recommended that and I thought that's brilliant. Then I can, doesn't matter if I cut through it. Then I counted the images. There's 12 designs in this pack and they only give me a picture of 10 of them. So, and then on the, on the, um, this is the paper pad and on the eight double sided papers, they give me 10 images. So it's both of them give me 10 images. One of them has, two more than are presented and this one showing me the front and back of two of them. So it's very confusing. So I don't know what I'm using at, at this point. I can tell you that it um, had cards on the bottom of it. This is actually the top of the print and on the bottom were um, two three by fives. I'll show you what I mean by that. It was... So... It had a big image like this and then two uh, and some three by fives, not three by five, three by fours, and then a five by seven. So it was that one that I cut through and I'm pretty sure it's from <laughs> the patterns pad, but I can't be sure. So there you go. So taking a picture isn't completely helpful. It helps nine out of 10 times. <laughs> which is better than nothing, I suppose. Okay, enough about that. Um, if you are gonna use white, which I recommend for this album, it just looks the best, um, unless you chose a color in the collection, like a pink or a green or something like that. I always do mine in base colors of cream white, black, and occasionally craft, although I haven't found a craft color that I like much anymore, so I haven't done that in a long time. So anyways, if you do use white, I recommend that you wash your hands and then wash your hands and then wash your hands and then wash your hands because it's really easy to get your white dirty, which is one of the reasons I don't make white albums very often because it's hard to keep clean when you're building it, but it's also hard to keep clean when everybody's handling it and looking at the photos. So something to consider. And then to get around some of that, if you want, you can pick a, a coordinating color and or ink your edges and then it's dirty by design. <clears throat> That's not the right word, but you know what I mean. It has color. <laughs> Alrighty, so there we go. There's our beautiful cover, our spine, in the back. Enough jibber jabber, let's get to decorating the cover. See, it really wants to pop open and that's because I'm using that book binding tape, which is really strong and gives it a lot of body. 
just making sure that was down. I'm going to use two different flower packs. They're listed in the description. This is one, I believe they're both 40. No, this is from Prima. I'm gonna use these pink roses and white roses. They come in a pack like this. So you get uh, four white, four pink, four red. I won't be using the red, I'll be using the white and the pink. And then the other one is Prima Flowers also, and it's this white pack. And it's called Sharon Ziv. And if you look in the description, the product number and name will be there for you, as well as a link so you can go straight to the shop. Now for this white one, it's all, the pack is, oh, I've got, sorry, I've got these turned into spirals and they're sticking on everything. Um, you get three relatively, four relatively large size flowers. And then you get four, and I'm missing a bud, four of these little buds, and that's all part of one pack. And then this uniform bud that you see here in the pink and white, uh, you get four of each. Okay, so the plan is to put some weight down here on the corner, and I think I'm going to take away the largest one, use the two smaller, and then add a little bit of pink. This is cut from the same page, but the um, 12 by 12 version. And I haven't decided how I'm gonna use it because part of it was cut off and that's fine. Um, I may put a flower over it or under it or over and under it, I'm not sure. I don't know what my earrings are doing here, but and here's that fourth one that was kind of missing in action. So this is kind of what I'm planning. I wish this would stay closed for me. I need a little weight on it. There we go. Unfortunately, it's taking up my field of vision too, but better than flopping around. So these roses already look so good. I don't want to completely cover them up. I want to slightly cover them so they are actually part of the overall design. So you can see there's flowers trailing on either side. And then um, I'm gonna put a flower up here. And I think I wanna add a couple up here. And I want them both to kind of be arced uh, to support sort of this design feature here. And then I'm gonna probably wind up tucking these in once these are secure. So this is what I think I'm going to do. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to start blowing things down. <clears throat> so I'm just putting down a, a nice heavy layer of blue here. Oops, I want that around that way. The flowers naturally tilt one way or another. And I want to tilt toward the center because I'm going to tuck a pink rose in there. These were also a little bit bigger than I wanted them to be, so I took them and squished them um, down. And then on one of them, I actually went around and took one layer of petals off to make it a little bit smaller to customize it. And I just tore them off. Here's, here's a couple remnants of it. Okay, and then I'm going to sneak this guy in here. I really need that green leaf on top, so I'm going to put it in that way. Hopefully you're not getting too much of the top of my head. I apologize in advance if you are. And I don't know where you are, but it's darn hot here. You've all been uh, sort of hiding indoors in the air conditioning. The Graphic 45 white roses would work, the smaller ones, um, they have to be the white and unfortunately you can't get a whole pack of white. You get half white and half linen and the linen doesn't work on here. The colors don't work together. But this is very traditional Prima pink. Um, so I'm sure you can find lots of Prima uh, colors if you can't find what you're looking for in our shop. Prima is pretty easy to find. I think even Hobby Lobby carries it. And then Hobby Lobby has some knockoff flowers that look just like 
Prima. And they go on sale, so keep your eyes open for that as well. Okay, this will go here. Okay, so that's looking good. Pretty happy with the way that's coming out. Give that some time to set. And then the question is how far up to the corner do I want to go here? Or do I want to come around to the side a little more and reveal the butterfly? I don't like the pink on pink. It looks too planned. It doesn't look organic. right there it does. Doesn't that look kind of big? Just me I guess. This I just put around the end of a paintbrush that was kind of narrow, twisted it and then you can pull it out to make it fit wherever you want. And a lot of times I'll put it in toward the center and then lay the bud down right next to the flowers like this. And then you have this sort of little curly cute peeking out. And that's, that's kind of what it looks like. So I think I'm pretty happy with that. I'm gonna glue this bud down. I'm actually gonna push it out a little bit. Extend it, I guess is what a better word. That's a nice little cluster. Let's get started up here. I think I'm gonna, did I have one, two? There, I'm missing one. Here it is. It's the big one. Probably gonna dig around and try to find some silver um, to go with this as well, silver uh, ribbon. Too much volume. I have to stand up for perspective, sorry. It seems dark in here to me. Okay. I'm committing. Just do it, just stick it down. So it wants to tilt this way. pause and we'll go look for some ribbon to help f fill this in. Be right back. Okay everyone I'm back and I did I made some changes while I was away so I'm going to go over those with you. They're not huge but you can see it looks a little bit fuller and I did some fussy cutting and I popped this on some foam and then I also fussy cut this popped it on foam and then I fussy cut this little flower here. I'm going to move that. 
So um, this is a smaller version of the one it's on top of, so it makes it look uh, more dimensional. I added this bud here, it's fact, and this bud here. In fact, they're both drying. And I added these little elements, one here too. And these are Graphic 45 um, flatback pearls, I think they call them. This is just for my stash, and this is Fussy Cut from the 12 by 12 collection. There's a, pa a paper with um, tags on it, um, and I believe it's from, it's, it's this tag, it's from the Patterns Pad. So on the bottom, I found this, and then I just added this because I wanted a little more balance. And then this was just an old key I had in stash, and I stuck it here. Graphic has some keys, um, but I didn't have anything that looked uh, not so gold. So I wanted um, this sort of old, I got it, I'm sure, at a, um, like, a craft show or something like that. I got a whole key ring of old keys that I, I use here and there and about. So I'm pretty much done um, with this. Um, there is some, there, somebody else has done an album with this collection and, and I can't remember who, but if you search for Chow Bella um, Blooming, you'll find it. And she had done circle frames to go around the clock pieces and it looks really good. I think I'm going to stay away from that. I think I've got enough color with the um, touch of Wink of Stella and the key and then this little um, metal element. This is a Tim Holtz uh, clip and then these uh, silver um, flatback pearls. So I think that's going to be it. I'm going to look for something to put on the spine. Um, I'm not sure what that's going to be yet. It may uh, be a tag or something like that that I cut apart. So that's it for the cover. Um, I'll be back soon and we'll start working on the inside of this album. So thanks everybody for tuning in. As always, this is Daphne from Scrap and Create. Thanks for uh, spending some time with us here over on the channel. I'll see you guys soon.